I've been working with Activision for so long, I don't have to school them in what skateboarding is or how to represent it well. So working together is pretty seamless. You know, working on a pro skater game, there's a lot of history behind it. The pressure to live up to the Tony Hawk franchise is because of that. It's a, it's a franchise that people have loved and played for years. I grew up having my dad always have him around and he would always let me play him before they came out. Before I was in the first Tony Hawk game I was in, I, uh, I used to play the games all the time when I was a kid. Even before I started skating, I started playing Tony Hawk games with my brother and my friends. As a kid, I, that was my game. It was, I would come home, do it up Tony Hawk, and you know, coming in here, I get to be the guy that makes those worlds. Longtime fans of the Pro Skater series, when they get into the game, they'll see you know, the hallmarks of the games. The incredible combos that you can do, great lines to grind. All of the key mechanics of uh, Pro Skater are all returning in there, so you know, people who are longtime fans, they'll know instantly how to play it. We really looked at, you know, the Pro Skater series and all the different gameplay mechanics that they had, and we started picking out, like, it would be very interesting if we decided to add, like, a new unique kind of gameplay mechanic into each level. So one of the biggest ones that we did was basically slamming down. When you ollie up, you can hit the slam button and you can instantly slam down and grind on any surface. It's a very simple mechanic, but really changes the pace of the game itself, and in many ways it speeds things up. I think our use of real life locations is going to appeal to the hardcore skate fan, but the create a park mode, I think that is going to bring the video game community in in a very big way. We're always trying to create that sandbox feel of, I'm creating a playground for people to play levels. And it's so much fun to do as a designer, like let's give that experience to the players. So the course creator is something that you know allows a fan to go into a template based on other levels that are already in Pro Skater 5 and just have a slew of skate props available to them. You can put it online, other people can download it. You can vote them to be the best and you know to create your own challenges within those levels. That's a whole new level of control that we haven't had before. So with the online multiplayer, you're going to have an online skate community, sort of. It really is about a skate park experience. So I'm going to go select a level to play in, I'm going to be skating around, uh, doing objectives as I want to, but with that level, there's going to be other players doing the same exact thing. And so it's, it's not a single player campaign anymore, it's a community campaign. It's cool to have skate kids playing the game and feel like they're part of a community. It's a virtual oasis. Our goal was to make a pro skater game for 2015. And so that's what we've done with the online features, create a park system, and then all the fun stuff that was from pro skaters that people loved were bringing to this game.